hey, it's going to be hot tomorrow, but there's no heat advisory tomorrow. And I don't think there's going to be another one for some time, maybe even 10 days at least maybe longer, but storm chances show up late tomorrow, so you need to plan your day accordingly. You're going to have some thunderstorms around as we get towards the end of the afternoon into the evening hours and some late spring weather. If you've been playing a lot in those cooling bills, you're going to get a break from that as we close the weekend and next week. We didn't get a break today. In fact, 101 was the hottest day we've had so far this year, and I'm not saying 101 is a nothing burger. That's a hot day, but Last year, the hottest day we'd had so far by this date was 105. The year before that was 106. Yeah, it's been hot, but we have had 800 degree days and the hottest one, 101. All the others were exactly at 100. Tomorrow's forecast, we're not 100, we're upper 90s. The chance of rain shows up in the afternoon. You see what it does to the temperatures, by the way. We won't get into the hundreds because the front arrives before we get to the peak daytime heating. Let me show you this on First Alert Futurecast. Here comes the front, so we'll spend the morning with some cloud cover. Some showers try to get going, but when the front comes through at the heat of daytime is when we start seeing the thunderstorms. They'll produce some gusty winds and a lot of lightning, and this will be going on for the rest of the afternoon into the evening and then be all carried down across the southeast. But another thing I really want to talk to you about is how unusual the weather pattern is setting up for the end of the week into the weekend. Because normally, if this was mid-July, I'd be showing you a big high pressure dome right here. Instead, you see this, a big trough. Well, it's going to leave and another one takes its place. And we get into Sunday, Monday with this thing sitting right in the Midwest. What does it do for us? Look at those temperatures. Those are temperatures you would see at the end of May, not in the middle of July. And they're going to be around a couple of days before we start warming up again. The temperature outlook for next week, good chance of below normal temperatures. And it's the same story as we go all the way to the end of the month. Here's your seven day forecast and I bring you good news. We'll have temperatures upper 90s tomorrow. That's not the good news. The chance of rain is 40% that goes into the evening. Always nice to get free water in July, but look at the rain chance Sunday and Monday 60 50% and highs in the 80s. Yeah, that's a nice July forecast.